A chat room is a way to communicate over the internet in real time. It's the same as having a conversation with someone in the same room, except that you are typing rather than talking, and the person you are talking to isn't in the same room. In fact, he or she could be on the other side of the world. Internet chats come in many shapes and forms. The two most popular are Internet Relay Chat (IRC) and web-based chat. While both accomplish the same basic task, connecting users for communication. They do so in different ways. Internet Relay Chat uses a separate computer application that you must download and install in order to connect to an IRC server. Once it's installed, you log into the service and select the chat room in which you would like to participate. IRC servers can have hundreds and even thousands of individual chat rooms. Depending on the software and the server you use, IRC can be a bit daunting, as it doesn't tend to be as user-friendly as other services and software on the internet. Web-based chat rooms are gaining in popularity as more websites make them available as a mode of communication. Rather than requiring the user to download additional software and connect to a separate server. Web-based chat rooms are usually offered directly from a website and use the same browser software with which you are already familiar. Simply click the link on the website, and you're instantly connected. Can you identify the differences between IRC and web-based chats? Try this exercise, and then click Next to continue when you're finished. Chat rooms can be used in a variety of ways in the classroom, from informal discussions to in-depth mentoring. This can be between students in the same school, the same district, and the same state, as well as with students from different schools, different states, and different countries. Chat rooms often come in one of two modes: there are open chats in which students interact with each other in a general discussion or open forum. And there are moderated chats in which a moderator, usually an instructor, helps direct the chat activities and works to keep the chat within the parameters of the discussion. For example, a moderator of a chat about Charles Dickens would try to keep the conversation within the realm of Dickens and keep tangential discussion to a minimum. Depending on the technology employed, a chat room moderator may also be able to limit the number of participants, select the people who are allowed to participate, or ban unruly or unwelcome participants. It may be worth your time to find chat rooms with such moderator capabilities when hosting a chat for your students, because it allows you more control over what takes place in the chat room. Moderated chat rooms can also be a deterrent to abuse and inappropriate chats. Public chat rooms have gained notoriety in recent years as places of inappropriate language and conversations. If you choose to use or allow your students to use public chat rooms, you should make them aware of what is considered appropriate in a chat. You may want to familiarize yourself with any chat rooms you choose to use. You will also want to remind students that it is never a good idea to give out personal information, such as their home address or telephone number, to someone they meet in a chat room. Additionally, if a student is confronted with a chat that makes them feel uncomfortable, let them know they should tell someone immediately, such as a teacher or administrator. Chat rooms have their risks, but they also have many rewards. As we've seen, chat rooms offer opportunities for real-time, long-distance communication and information exchange. As more classrooms utilize this technology, more educational chat rooms spring up. If you search the web, you are likely to find chats about literature, science, history, and more. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom. Either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.